Janet Gardner here. And Justin James. And Jazzy. We are frantically trying to get our album done, which is due out May 31st on Pavement Entertainment. So we also found out there's gonna be an opportunity to pre-order the album. And um, with a little bit of a bonus, you'll get uh, the first single instantly and another little special surprise in there. So that's coming up uh, on April 26th. And what are we doing today, Jazzy? We're eating socks. That's what we're doing today. All right, yeah. I'll speak for it. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes where we do a little mixing on a song and some EQ and show you some plugins we like to use and how we come up with certain sounds that we throw into a lot of our songs. All right, this is the part of the process where I absolutely either want to pull my hair out or go take a nap. So if I disappear and Jazzy disappears with me, we're having a nap. So check it out. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with the drums. Like anything else, it's, you, you build on it. So it's like building a house. You start with the foundation. So we're going to start with the drums. Um, for this album, we pretty much use the same drum kit for everything. There's only one or two songs that we used a different drum kit. And mostly what we do to make it fit the song better is we adjust the room mic um, balance to the tight mics. Okay, so now that we found a basic EQ that we like, um, we can just tweak it a little bit. And kick up the mid-range a little. Oh! Don't like that. Maybe a little mid-highs. Like that. Oh, okay, so I think we got the drums pretty much good to go. Of course, we'll always be tweaking as we go as we add other instruments, but I think we got a good start here. All right, so now we're gonna touch on bass. Now with the bass, we like to record DI, so we go directly right into the system. So from there, it allows us to choose different amplifiers that we want to use, and it allows us the option to change it and tweak it as we go along. So what we're going to start with here is a simple Ampeg emulator here. And the cool thing with this is, is again, we can change different sounds. Hey, nice. <laughs> but we like to go with this one. It just, it's got a nice sweet, full sound to it. From there, we run the bass through a compressor to keep everything balanced. And then we're really big fans of the Waves plugin, the Chris Lord Algae for EQ, our additional EQ. It adds a little sub frequency, some bite to the sound. And then from there, we'll run it through our equalizer processor. Our equalizer, which has another compressor thrown on it, an exciter for an extra little edge to the bass. And again, the same thing like we did with the drums. We'll just sit there and we'll tweak and we'll look for frequencies that sound ugly or not nice and look for more complementative frequencies in the mix. Okay, so uh, we're not big on keyboards, but we do add some in for a little bit of vibe and a little bit of atmosphere. So we're just gonna add in, we don't need to EQ them or anything. They're preset sounds. So we're just gonna see if we can get a good volume on them. Sounds pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna show you some funky guitar things that we do. So a straightforward guitar is always really cool, but we always love to experiment with different sounds. So I'll show you an example of what it sounds like without it and with the plug-in on it. Straightforward. And now we have this pulsing effect. It sounds like a synthesizer almost on a guitar. Pretty cool. So now we'll throw the drums in. Nice full sound, throw a little bit of bass. Now it's coming to life. 
right, so we're going to throw on some background vocals here, and uh, we kind of already had them balanced. We had them um, panned at various levels for the different parts, so it already has a nice stereo sound. We're just going to go through some presets again, and then we can adjust the effects and stuff on them as we go. But on this song, I want something really lush and really um, sort of atmospheric, so it's going to... Um, be a challenge. So, you hear to assassinate my heart. You come in to tear Ew. my world apart. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Remember that one, answer me. You got it, babe. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Sounds like when you're mad at me. All right, so now we're going to touch on the most important part of the song. Janet's lovely voice. So we start again with a little EQ. So with the right here's dry. Is too perfect and it makes me feel. Give her some nice EQ you to balance her out, the highs and the lows. Throw a little stereo delay where she's got different echoes coming out of both sides. Give her a little compression because believe it or not, she can sometimes get a little loud. No hey now. Safety. That was uncalled for. And then to top it off, Give her a little nice, luscious Close reverb. Ooh, that's my favorite part. It looks pretty, too. It does. Makes me feel <laughs> so now, let's throw it in the mix. Yeah, baby. All right. All right, welcome back. All right, so there's a little look at how we EQ plugins we like, how we mix things, and we are super excited about this. And don't forget, on April 26th, there will be a link available to pre-order the album, which will include an immediate download of the title track off the album, Your Place in the Sun, with a little bonus. Well, hope you enjoyed our little look behind the scenes. Look for us this summer. We're going to be taking this thing out live. Can't wait for that. Check out the album. Thanks so much, everybody. Love you. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to click the subscribe button on our YouTube page so you can be notified immediately when we upload our next video.